video, what we're going to do is we're going to take a basic rock, paper, scissors program. Uh, it's called Junkin here in, in Japan. And, you know, add a loop to it and add a few features to it uh, to make it a bit more interesting, a bit more playable. Let's take a look at what we have now. Okay, so the program starts, screen is cleared. We have this menu. So we're playing rock, paper, scissors. It tells us the rules. Um, it says you will play the computer. The first to reach three wins wins the match. We don't have that part. We don't have that part uh, programmed yet, but we will in a bit. Um, so I'm going to choose rock, and I hit rock. It says the computer chooses paper. You lose. Program ends. Okay. So we have the basic structure of rock paper scissors. So we ask the user for his or her choice. I'll change it to upper just because we're comparing R, P, and S. Computer chooses a random number. The random number is one. It's R, so it's rock. Two is paper. Three is scissors. Uh, if the computer chooses R, we print the computer chose rock, or the computer chose paper, or the computer chose scissors. Uh, and then we decide who wins. So if the computer chooses R, the user chooses paper, or the computer chooses P, the user chooses S, or scissors, or a computer chooses S, and the user chooses R, basically the user wins. These are all the user win cases. And then here are the computer wins cases, and here is the tie. Okay, now we could have just made this an else, because either you win, you lose, or it's a tie. But this just illustrates you know, how the code would work uh, in more detail. So what we want to do is we want to make this a repeatable game. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create, naturally, a loop. So I'm going to think about what do I want to happen? So every time I run the game, every time I play it, I want to see this title at the top. Okay, so basically I have to clear the screen and print that. So I'm going to do while. I'm going to use a while true loop. Now I could do it a different way, but this will work. And now I'm going to select everything because everything here needs to be inside that loop. Scroll right down. And I've been using tabs. So uh, now the only problem with this is it'll mess up the, the, the printing here. So these, these are now tabs. This is going to mess up the printing. Um, so to fix that, I have to untab it and then do a little bit. But uh, I'm just going to skip that because I'm not concerned about the printout to be honest formatting um, basically what you need to do is where you see a tab see that's a tab is they need to be changed into spaces so two three four one two three four so each tab is four spaces okay that's that's a tab also one two three four so two tabs so one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and eight. One, two, three, four. And so I guess I mean I will fix all these. And as we run the program, we'll check and see if that worked. Okay, so now I've got a loop and let's run it and see what happens. Okay, so I got an indentation error, line 62. So L F, yep. So this print needs to be indented one more, and that means this print needs to be indented one more. Um, okay. So I'm gonna hit R because I always choose rock. Now you see what happened there. If you look really closely, the computer chose paper, you win. The computer chose rock, tie. So basically, it's coming back around a little too fast. So I can do a couple different things here, um, but let's just do. Maybe an easy one is we will use time dot sleep and maybe we'll try yeah three seconds. Okay, so basically what's happening is it's going through, it's getting to the end and it's going right back up to the start, which clears the screen and prints the the menu again. Okay, so I'm gonna do R. If you chose scissors, you win. Three seconds, repeats. Paper. Computer shows rock, you win, okay, and scissors. So I'm going to just test to make sure each case works. Okay, so so far so good. So let's uh, stop that for now. So the first thing I want to do is I have a, a few different challenges I'd like you to try. Um, the first one is to ask the user's name and use that throughout the program instead of the user or you. This is uh, fairly straightforward. 
Um, what I would do is think about it first um, is do I need to ask the user's name every time we play and hopefully the answer in your mind is no I just want to ask once at the beginning so what I might do is maybe copy this and put this outside the loop and then I'll need to unindent it of course you know please then I'll say And then I'll say username equals input. And I'm using Python 3. If you're using Python 2, it's raw input, raw underscore input, not just input. Please enter your name. And then what I'll do is down here, when I print out the results, instead of you win, thing here Our format switch format make sure you got two uh, right parentheses here so the username wins and username loses so let's try that that's a pretty straightforward one so please enter your name my name is Christian so computer shows scissors Christian wins Okay, and I'll try a paper. Christian loses. So I've tested basically both cases, either Christian wins or Christian loses. So that's working. That, that's a pretty straightforward uh, challenge. Let's close that. Uh, the next one we want to try is add commentary depending on the current score. Okay, so the first thing is we haven't actually added the score. Okay, so let's think about that. What we want to do in this particular game is, according to the instructions, is the first to th reach three wins wins the matches wins the match so I need to keep track of the wins and losses so or at least the wins so I'm gonna make two new variables so user uh, say wins now when I start the game that's zero computer wins equals zero notice this is also outside of this loop I don't want it here because every time it comes back, it would reset to zero. So what I have to do is when the user wins, I have to add one. And when the computer wins, I have to add one. So I scroll down. So print, so this is the user wins. So I'm going to say user wins plus equals one. And here, the computer wins. Computer wins plus equals one. Then what I want you to do is down here, check for three wins. So if computer, or I'll say user, user wins equals three, print, oops. Well, use the name, wins the match. And then basically at that point, I can either, I can exit the game because the game's over. And again, I'm kind of lazy, so I'm going to just copy and paste that and just change it. Wins equals three, let's say. So basically, we're checking for three wins. Now I can use an L if here because you can't have two people with three wins. So let's run that. Okay, so rock, paper, scissors. Let's keep going. Now you already see a problem here is we don't know what the current score is. Okay, Christian wins, Christian wins the match, so I must have gotten three. So what I'm gonna do is up here, I'm just gonna say print, and actually maybe I can unindent this part as well. So it's inside three quotes. So print user 
Or actually, let me use the name since we, we put that in there. Planet wins. And computer wins. That format. So the first one is going to be the username. Second one is going to be user wins. And the third one is computer wins. And probably, yeah, we're going to need two of those. So let's test it, see if it works. Okay, let's see. Okay, so you can see now I have Christian wins, computer wins, so a rock. Christian wins, so we should come around and see Christian wins one. Now I can clean up the formatting here a little bit. It doesn't doesn't look quite that nice. Um, let's close that since we know it's working or roughly. Um, and did I not like about that? Let's get rid of that. And yeah, we'll leave, we'll leave it like that for now. Um, so we can see that there are how many wins and how many losses. We can. Stop the game if there's three wins. Okay. So what we have here is add commentary depending on the current score. For example, if the user is ahead, then output something like the user looks very confident. Um, so what I can do is before my sleep is I can say so print commentary. So if user wins greater than computer wins, print you know, looks confident. L if so the user wins is less than computer wins. Print uh, looks to be in trouble. Format user oops username and otherwise else I guess this would be a tie print okay so let's try that okay so I'm gonna do a rock. Christian wins. Christian looks confident. I like it. So paper. Ooh, tie. Now it still says Christian looks confident. Um, that was a tie. That's why. So I'm still confident. The game is tied. Okay, so you can see now it's one to one. The game is tied. Okay, so the commentary is working. That's pretty straightforward. Again, you just got to think about, you know, what conditions will give us that. Um, I think... One last thing we can do is if there are three wins, let's ask the user if they'd like to continue. So what you say is play again equals input. Says, would you like to play play again? Uh, you say yes or no. And if play again equals yes, we're going to continue. I know this is not correct. There's a problem there, but we'll fix that in a bit. Else, if it's not play again, we'll just exit the game. Okay. And I can copy that. Okay, so let's play it. Okay, Christian. Rock. Okay, rock. Uh oh, now it's going to be 2 0. Tie. So I'm still in trouble. Tie. It's <laughs> a problem with testing. Tie. It's 2 1. Game is tied. Oh my gosh, I'm coming back from the dead here. Christian wins. Okay, would you like to play again? Now if I do yes, okay, you can see I still have three wins. So let's see what happens if I hit R. Okay, so you can see there's a problem there with the logic. Okay, 
So you have to think about this. If we play again, we need to start over from scratch. So we need to reset the scores. So I'm going to say user wins equals zero and computer wins equals zero. So I'm just basically redoing that. Actually, another thing I want to do, os.system, I want to clear the screen again as well. Okay, and I've only got two minutes till the bell rings, so I'm going to have to end this here. But basically, so I'm just going to copy that. And, oops, no, I'm going to copy that. Yeah, I'm going to copy that and paste that here. Okay, so again, if we're going to play again, we need to reset the wins for both the computer and the player, so it's back to zero. And please enter your name. Okay, I win, I look confident. Nothing beats rock. It's a tie, but I still look confident because I'm, I'm ahead by one. Oops, this thing looks like a tie. Ooh, I'm up 2-0 now. Still a tie. Jeez. Lots of ties. I win the match. So if I play again, I come back and we're back to zero zero, and that hopefully will get you started on you know how to add you know how to take this basic program that we've already done and turn it into a looping program with with a couple little features uh, to make the game a little bit more enjoyable.